Hi, today I'm going to tell you how you can use the VLOOKUP function on Excel in the simplest way possible. It's one of the most commonly used functions and it's one of the functions that a lot of people have difficulty with. So I hope this video helps you out. If it does, please leave a like down below. That really helps me out a lot. So as you can see, I've prepared two sets of sample data. The one on the left showing all of the information probably maintained by an HR manager, which includes details like the designation and the salary of each employee. The one on the right is probably maintained by someone who's tracking the attendance of each data. But someone has to process the salary, right? And they need to calculate how much salary is to be paid out for each employee based on the number of days that they were either present or absent from work. And a great way to get this information is using the VLOOKUP function. So to get the information on the left hand side sheet, all you have to do is go to the first cell, type equal to VLOOKUP and open bracket. So now this information that you have right below the cells, this information, this is very important for you to understand. And the second you understand what these things are, VLOOKUP is going to become very easy for you to use. The first thing is lookup value. What does lookup value mean? Lookup value is what exactly is it that you are searching for. Now here's a pro tip. Always make sure that you're searching for a unique field. Now if you don't know what a unique field is, I'll leave a link in the description below where I explain everything that you need to know about unique fields. So in this case, our best bet would be to go with the employee number. So our lookup value has become the employee number. Now go ahead and click on comma. The second detail that you need to find is table array. Table array essentially means where are you exactly searching for these values. So we are going to look for the value in this table, but when you are selecting the table, don't just select the employee number. You have to include the column that has the data that you want to actually bring into your new sheet. In our case, the sheet on our left. So that is the attendance column. So you have to make sure that you include the employee number field as well as the attendance field and everything in between which is absolutely fine. You have selected three columns in this case. The employee number column was the first column, the second column was the name and the third column is the attendance and this is important for you to note when you are doing this step and I will get to why in just a second. Once you are done selecting the table, you are going to hit comma again and now it is going to ask you for column index number and this is where that column number comes in handy. In our case, we need to get the attendance information into the sheet on the left and that was the third column. So I'm going to just type in three and the last part of it is range lookup, which means is it going to be an approximate match or an exact match? And in most cases, you're going to go for exact match. If it's an approximate match, there's going to be a lot of discrepancies in the data if you're dealing with hundreds and hundreds of thousands of lines. So in that case, you need to either type in false for exact match or pro tip, you can just type in zero. It works the same. Go ahead and close the bracket and hit enter. And there you have it. You now have 30 attendance on Michael's record. Now I'll go back just for a second and click on the formula bar where I selected three. And just to show you, just to demonstrate what would happen if I had put Two instead, it will bring in Michael's name because on the sheet on the right from the data that we selected, if you remember the first column was the employee number, the second column was name and the third column was attendance. So if I click in second column here and hit enter, it should turn up Michael as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and undo that. We're back to column three. So to recap, all we did was we look up. We did value as a unique field on the table. The second part was selecting the table array, which is where the destination data where you want to get the information from. Select all of the columns and keep in mind the number of the column where the information is that you want to bring in. Third aspect of it was the number of that column, which was three in our case. And finally, the exact match. Hit enter again and there you have it. All you have to do is copy it and paste it across all of your data and you have the exact same information. As you can see, Matthew has 22 and Matthew has 22 here as well. Emily has 29 and Emily has 29 here as well. And likewise for Ashley. If you found that short video helpful, please leave a like down below. 
it really helps me out a lot if you have any doubts on we look up let me know in the comment section down below and i'll try to answer them or if you want to learn something new about excel ask me in the comments and i'll try to make a new video on that i'll catch you in the next one take care